things. That is... Reality has shifted. And there's not a timer on that. So I suppose this is just my life now. Hello friends, today we're going to be taking a look at the different Master Wizards of Noita. Each Master Wizard has their own school of magic that they use, and generally their own debuffs that they give the player. We'll take a look at them one by one, and see what they each do. Alright, the first Master Wizard we'll be taking a look at is the Master of Blindness. And, as the name implies, get a good look now. Because once we enter the little cage with him, he'll hit us with a purple sphere. And that causes blindness. And every time he hits you, it resets the debuff. And it's one of... I'm not going to say the most dangerous creatures, but... Just imagine being in the dungeon, surrounded by other creatures, and this happens. For 20 whole seconds. And then once the 20 seconds passes... You're good. His only attack is the purple sphere, so if you can dodge that, you should be A-OK. -okay. Sometimes he jumps. I, they might have a small amount of contact damage. Oh, seems they don't even have contact damage. And even though that's his one trick, it's a pretty good trick nonetheless. Next up, we have the Master of Wounding. And he, this is a little red brain looking guy, or at least he looks kind of like a brain to me. I believe he shoots red projectiles, and if he hits you with it, it reduces your maximum HP by half. And that is stacking. So we, it'll just keep getting lower and lower. And that also is a 20 second debuff, and once that time passes... Your HP does come back. Well, your maximum HP comes back. And you actually... Uh, no, I'm sorry, you do not keep all your HP. So, he can be quite fearsome, especially in prolonged runs. Where you have a lot of maximum health. Alright, next up we have the Master of Grounding. So we just warp on in here. And if he hits us with a projectile... It causes the neutralized spell debuff, and attempting to cast, I cannot use offensive magic at all. If you were to use explosive spells, they would just detonate in your face. Once the debuff's gone, now we can shoot our spells normally again. He doesn't do a lot of damage, or, well, the seven, yeah, so pretty much no damage, but being unable to defend yourself is quite the hassle as well. Need to make it a little bit light. There's a better view of him. Sorry about that. Should have been more on top of that. So the Master of Polymorphine, when he hits you with one of his projectiles, will transform you into a sheep or something along the lines. He does not chaotic polymorph you. So he won't insta-kill you. But, again, being unable to defend yourself as a, a flying sheep is quite the detriment. So he should also be watched out for. Oh, he has me trapped. I can't use my wands to escape him. Here we have the Master Wizard of Returning. And just warp on in here with him. So he casts a little fireball-like spell. But if we cast at him, he then begins to use our spell. So the more dangerous your spells against him is, the more dangerous he will be. He kind of really subscribes to the whole... Most powerful defense is a good offense strategy. Except he can ignite himself with lava that he spawns from his initial attack. And he seems to have run out of casts, I suppose? Or he's just lost interest. But he is can be dangerous, or he can be quite mundane. Well, depending upon the player. Next up we have the Master of Twitching. We hop on in here with him. He fires a relatively fast projectile. And it causes you to randomly fire your staff for 20 seconds. And I 
won't be able to do it with this staff. But it also causes you to be able to damage yourself with your own spells. So be careful because you could potentially launch a bomb, dynamite. If you're late in the run, you could have a nuke and accidentally detonate that. Here we have the Master Swapper. As again, as the name typically always implies, he hits you and he swaps places with you. That's his his main shtick. Just uh, swapping places. Mildly inconvenienced. Not nearly as dangerous as some of the other Master Wizards. You would have to be wary of hitting yourself with spells that you're casting at him. It would be quite comical to rocket yourself or murder yourself if he swapped places with you last second but he doesn't do any damage so he's not the biggest threat in the dungeon in my opinion next up is the master of teleporting if he would like to stay he clearly doesn't so we'll let him hit us with a bolt he gives a short teleportitis buff and it causes you to warp around Oh, he warped me not super far, but he he inconvenienced me. Let's see if we can find a way back. Here we go. And he himself will warp around randomly, but like he is affected by teleportitis. Oh, he put himself back in jail. When you're hit by his bolt, it generally teleports you two or three times. And then he decides to come back out. He can be somewhat dangerous, but his, his projectile is fairly easy to dodge, so just be wary. Here we have the Bloated Wizard, also sometimes referred to as the Barfer, because that is what he does. He just projectile vomits poison at you. Perhaps he's not a Master Wizard, but... He's classified in the same category, so we'll cover him. A master in his own right, I suppose. Hmm, he, he did destroy the arena. Here we have the Master of Vulnerability. He'll hit you with a spell. And what that does is your resistances and protective perks are temporarily gone. So something such as taking less damage when not stained. Even though I'm staying in blood currently, if I wasn't, the perk would still not apply because of his debuff. And, as with the others, that's his, his main thing. Just throws debuffs you. And you can... He himself, not dangerous, but when combined with other dangerous entities, could be a problem. Always have to be wary of the debuffers. The final of the Vanilla Master Wizards is the Master of Writhing, and, as with every single other one, he gives you a debuff that, although it says it is the same, I believe it's different according to the wiki, it is different, it makes you take more damage rather than deactivating your perks. However, that could have been a change and could be outdated information at this point. Because the game does specify different at this current time. Which is peculiar that there would be two wizards that have the identical effects. Just to double check again. We'll toss him back out. Hop down and let him hit us. Oh, he missed point blank. There we go. Yep, for sure. The same debuff weaken. The new enemies and bosses mod adds its own Master Wizards as well. And since we have them available, we'll also cover them. So first off, we have the Earthquake Mage, or Master Earthquake. Um, we'll hop down in here with him. And I believe, yeah, he just destroys everything near him. He, it's not the most burdensome thing. Oh, well, except he can make terrain fall on you. I didn't realize that. Not the most burdensome thing in the dungeon, but when <laughs> trying to show things, he's quite a problem. Oh, I gotta get rid of this guy as well. 
So the Master Earthquake Wizard did quite a bit of damage in a very short amount of time. Alright, a new platform has been constructed because our last guest was so terrible. Here we have the Master of Time. He is probably one of my favorite Master Wizards that I've encountered in the dungeon. And let me just move around a little bit before he hits me just to get a better idea of what he does. And as you see, he sends you back in time the exact amount of time, I'm not certain, but just moving around, we'll see if I can run the clock out on the Master of Time. And there we go, he hits us. So it's probably 5 to 10 seconds of movement. Definitely a big inconvenience in the dungeon, but he himself doesn't do a whole lot of damage. We have Sokos. I suppose is how it would be pronounced. He is the mini-boss of the Master Wizards, I suppose. He has numerous different spells and abilities. <laughs> he has lots of different spells. They're quite, quite amusing. And wow, that's... I, I was not even prepared for that. He can be extremely dangerous if you encounter him. Oh. Also, he's immune to lava, as you can see. Go ahead and spawn another one of him, just so we can see some more of his spells and abilities. I believe he has access to pretty much any spell the player does. And he just randomly casts whatever he is feeling like at the time. Oh, that would have been a dangerous one if it hit me. He's quite fun. Here we have the Master of Trip. I believe he would cause you to hallucinate. Although when I've tried to test him before, he has caused instant game crashes. So let's give it a try. If we get a black screen, that would be- oh, no, he- yep, he makes you hallucinate. Well, that is- reality has shifted. And there's not a timer on that. So I suppose this is just my life now. I've never encountered one in the actual dungeon before, so they might not actually spawn. If they do, and I've just been unlucky in encountering them, I would stay away. Um, I can only imagine what this would do to a run. I hope this isn't making anybody nauseous by watching it. This was much more intense than I had anticipated. But I can't say I'm disappointed. This has far exceeded my expectations. And he's going to take the place as my new favorite wizard, I do believe. I don't know if there's a way to get rid of this, though. Even in... Perhaps if I die. So we're going to go ahead and just... Well, let's go ahead and meet our boy Sokos. Oh, wow, he is distorted as all get out. Oh, nope. Not even death will save you from this hell. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something. Leave in the comments which one is your favorite. As stated, mine would have to be the Trip Wizard. Bye.